I don't want to take a lot away from the second heifer. Probably hasn't quite had the preparation of the heifer in front of her, but also a very long female, very clean underneath, good piece. Well, I'm a very feminine heifer. Uh, I'd like to congratulate those two exhibitors. Thank you. And your champion female. Thank you, Colby. Um, we're extremely, both Prue and I, extremely happy with the three heifers we have out here for our junior championship. I think they're they're world-class heifers, they're very, they're magnificent, they're feminine, they're long, they're functional, um, you know, they're going to stick around the breed for a very long time. We start off with the younger heifer there, she's 15 months of age, extremely long, feminine heifer, she's refined, she's good in the feet and legs, very good underneath, good teeth placement, very hard heifer to fault, there's, there's no doubt about that. As we come into the, the next heifer in the line here, showing signs of being in car, Similar style of heifer, very long, clean underneath, good teeth placement, feminine, lovely coat type, you know, like a, the outstanding, you know, like there's three outstanding heifers, don't, don't get me wrong, this is going to be a hard decision that, that I give uh, credit to sometimes. When we come in with the heifer, the, the older heifer there, like there, there's only two to three weeks difference in age between her and the middle heifer. Perhaps, um, you know, being a little bit colder where they were, not as not as refined in the coat type perhaps, but I mean that's, uh, I'm not going to take a lot away from her because I, I love the, the actual carcass capabilities of this heifer, I love the length of her, the underline, the teeth, like I, I really do think they're three magnificent young females out here. Unfortunately today there, there can only be uh, one of these junior champions and uh, when we've studied them, looked at them, looked at the appeal of these heifers, looked how they got around, and we've decided on our youngest heifer for our junior champion. Congratulations. bone, feet, legs, like three, three quality animals. Um, so I'm just going to go back here uh, very briefly and I'll tap one on the backside for your junior champion. Currently judging in the seat. Thank you very much. In the graphics, class 22. Please put your hands together for the junior cha junior champion male for class 19, uh, exhibit number 1544, John and Rosemary Young McCarthy's entry. Only been uh, sponsored by the Adams family from Dingerfield Cattle Company. Cow. She's uh, got adequate bone, she's good underneath, she's very feminine in the head, she's a nice female. And we come on to the middle age group senior female there, very functional female, moderately frame size on her, uh, easy doing, doing a good job on her calf, um, you know she's, she's fairly hard to fold as well. We come on to the older cow, uh, to a larger frame on her, she's got plenty of bone, she's good underneath. A lot of volume capacity this cow, she's, she's feminine up at the front and she's doing a really good job on a calf as well. Like I was saying, if there's anything that I want to pick on her for, I'd probably just like to tidy her up a little bit more on that udder in, in the front quarters there. But you get the proofs in the pudding, you look at the calf, look at the job she's doing, she's doing a good job, as is the other two cows in there. So you bear with me for five minutes, I'll just come back down and I'll make my final selection. Thank you.
the top. <laughs> champion and today I'm going for the middle bar, middle bull there for our champion. Congratulations. Currently judging in the office. Three gentlemen from the Darling Downs. 93 head, 20 stars. King Ranch introduced the registered purebred Santa to Australia in 1952. Santa Catrinas remain the only bee society in Australia to maintain a strictly controlled herd classification system. Santa's a large bee breed, are adaptable to a wide range of climatic conditions. Their coat is cherry red with red pigmented skin, and they are horned and polled as well. Darling Rose Green McCartney from Clifton in Queensland. They exhibit the Grand and Junior Champion Mile, that was Draylon J26, the Calm Champion Female, Rose Hill, Kimberley, E8. The exhibitors group size Prodigy Stakes and then Prodigy Stakes. Could I congratulate John and Rosemary because, ladies and gentlemen, they've only been breeding Santa Catrinas for around about three years, so congratulations to you. Well done. Scott and Wendy Ferguson from Rock Lobby in Queensland, the Sydney and Champion Male, Glen Oaks J163, the Grand and Senior Champion Female, Glen Oaks Harmony, Page 36, and the junior champion female was Glen Oaks Kismet, A24. Jason and Joanne Wolf from Emerald in Queensland, the reserve senior champion male, that was.